Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom rig. I will be using this public cartoon character. I hope you'll learn some useful tips today. Let's go! As a rule of thumb, the easiest way to go about any humanoid characters is to choose Quick Rigging Tool. However, this time I have a peculiar cartoon character. Our baby shark today has fewer bones, however, is equipped with tail and fins. Therefore, I'll be creating all the rig's elements manually and from scratch. The pelvic bone would be the best place to start for any character. In our hierarchy, this is going to be the core joint controlling the rest of them. Both legs and the spine are the children joints. In order to start building the spine up, we have to select the next joint. At this stage, we also need to define our axis, on which the additional point controls are going to be located. I press global mode to change it into local mode, to synchronize location errors with the joint. The rig's element is going to follow the vertical y-axis. And I'll place the turning point on the z-axis so it faces forward. Now press the Add button. And this is how we've created the first element of the rig. Following the same logic, we're creating the chest and back elements. However, in this character, the chest joint is facing the opposite direction. For my convenience, I would prefer all the controllers to be facing the same direction. To change the direction to the opposite one, I'll add a minus to the offset number. Now my point is facing forward. Once we move on to the head, you'll notice three children joints, two eyes and a fin on the back. Ideally, I would like to place the head rig in the middle. However, I'll have to choose one of the eyes joints first. Now I can move the direction control a little bit. I'm able to do this because it's the last element in our rig chain. However, it's better not to do this in the middle of the rig. It can lead to multiple errors. Since it will be challenging to eyeball the exact middle point, I will use the back fins joint as my pointer. I'm copying the back fins position in global coordinates and adding the points. With that, I can move the entire axis forward. I want to place the head rotating point on the back of the head. For now, it seems like the easiest way to control the head, however, I can always change it later. Let's try it this way first. Now let's create the rig elements for the fin. You can see that the fin's joints are also facing different directions. I'm playing with the offset to make sure that they're all facing the same direction. I'm also using the head's point up to distinguish it from the fin. Now moving on to the limbs. I'll be creating the elements of the limbs on one side. As you can see, there is only one joint in the foot. With only one joint, I will most likely not use the rotating controller that much. However, I don't like its location as it is, so I'm going to be moving it to a more convenient direction for me. I prefer to have it on the side. And we have two joints in our shark's hands slash fins. This means we'll have an elbow connection. To do this, I'm taking both rotating controllers and click Union to Hinge in Hinge Actions. Elbow Direction Controller is created automatically. Now, moving on to the second side. I select all of the newly created limbs connectors and select the axis to mirror. Now, in the mirror plane menu, I need to input the names of both axes. I select left for our original side and right for the mirrored one. Once I'm done, I click Create Mirror Object. And finally, our tail. The direction of the rotating controller is not right again. Let's take a look at the axis. This time, in the top menu, I change to local again. I need to position my rotation controller on the Z-axis. Here, our joints chain is split. By playing around, you can tell which part is responsible for what movement. 
and don't forget to press Ctrl Z if you're moving parts of the skeleton. I would like to choose this chain. And I don't see the need of creating a joint controller for this part. Now it's time to take a look at all the similar elements. For the eyes, it will be enough if we create box controllers. For example, here is the joint that controls the eye. Let's click on the only box controller option on the left. Now we can move this box to a more convenient location. Box controller's location can be changed pretty easily. I will also create a box controller for this lower part of the tail. And just like this, we have all the main controllers. Let me quickly test the rig before we move on to any more detailed work. To do this, I'll click on the rig mode to switch to the animation mode. I'm playing around with all the connectors to make sure that they're all placed correctly and that the rig is working the way I intended it to. Auto pausing will not work for this baby shark, so it's very important to make sure that everything works as it's supposed to. And let's not forget the box controllers. I like it that way. Here, we can also edit the physical skeleton. As of now, the center of mass is somewhere in the back. As you can see, it's now closer to the tail as well, and I would like to make it more central. For that, let's go back to the rig mode. To move the center of mass, I'll have to make the pelvic part larger. You can change this by going to physics settings. You can also change the size here, so the elements will match the character a little bit more. Since I'm dealing with a cartoon character, and I'm not planning for this character to interact with any other characters, I don't need to calculate the exact mass. I don't even need to know what a real shark's weight is. I don't even know what type it is. Well, it doesn't matter. In my cartoon settings, the proportions of one to another is a lot more important. The center of mass will gravitate towards the heavier parts. This way, even though we're not dealing with a humanoid being, I will still be able to use a lot of the physics functions. Now the center of mass is located a lot closer to the actual center of the character. So much better. And just like this, our rig is ready. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video, where this character will really come to life.